Hi guys! <laughs> Today I want to do a review of a book that I just read very recently. Um, that book is this one right here. The German title is Eroberung. It's by Laurent Binet. Um, I think the original French title, because this is a French book, is Civilizations. Just imagine that with a French pronunciation. I don't know any French, so I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, but yes, let's uh, get into this book. <laughs> So actually I'm I'm a bit colorless today, so I decided to bring those flowers and this Nintendo Switch over here, which is a bit colorful, so just to spice up the, the color scheme that I'm bringing to this video today. So um, yes, uh, this book is a, um, I think you can call it a speculative fiction book. So. Um, the book asks two questions. The first one is, um, what if the Vikings sailed to South, South America? And the second question is, um, what if Columbus never returned from America? And the answer is what we have in this book, and that is the Inca conquered Europe. So Eroberung, the title of the book, it means conquest. So um, this is a, the book about the uh, Inca tribes or just one tribe actually, uh, conquering Europe. And um, I really like these kind of, uh, kinds of books where you have history and then some things change and you don't have the history as we know it, but a different version of that history. And I think you don't um, get a lot of um, South American or uh, Latin American kind of history in those stories. So I think most books that I know with this kind of uh, like alternate history setting are books like What if Hitler won World War II. So those I think are the most common ones, uh, at least the, the ones I have uh, come across. And so when I saw this I knew that I had to buy it because I've always liked um, Aztec and Maya and Incan um, culture. So it, they were always really fascinating to me because they were so different from what I know from my European kind of culture uh, because that's all what we cover in like German history class. You get some Egyptians, you get some Greek people, you get some Romans and then you go into French Revolution, some German history, then you go to uh, the German Empire and then lots and lots of Hitler, World War II, which is very important stuff, um, but it's very European centric. So you never take a look at these kinds of uh, um, cultures. So um, I was really excited to read this. Okay, so this book is divided into four parts. The first part is about a Viking woman who's sailing along the coast and uh, going um, to the to the south and just talking to people and um, bringing her knowledge of advanced weapons with her and handing it so she's passing it on to the the natives that live there. Um, the, the, the second part is about Columbus coming to America and so let's just say he's not as successful as he has been in the, the real history. So yeah, um, like the book says, he never returns from, from there. And um, the, the third part, which is actually um, the biggest part in the book, is about Atahualpa, who is an Inca prince. And he is chased by his brother, who is, I think he's also a prince. So, and on his chase, he ends up in the Caribbean and then he sets sail and goes to Europe. And that's where the kind of um, conquest comes into play. So he, spoiler, starts his conquest. And I really like this book because you have this totally foreign person who's coming to Europe at the in the 16th century. So things are still a bit rough at that point in time. and. 
it's really interesting to see this European world through his eyes. So, for example, um, he gets to know the Spanish Inquisition, um, who just kill people who are not um, Catholics. And he comes there and he's like, but why? What the hell? What is going on? And I mean, um, at one point later on in the book, when he has come kind of far, um, the Catholics are even trying to just uh, find parallels between Christianity and um, the Inca religion. And they are, some of them are saying that oh, you can kind of say that he is he fits into Christianity and that his religion is Christianity and stuff like that just because he's gaining power and I really enjoyed that so I'm not a very religious uh, religious person religious I'm not a very religious person so. um, but I really like to read about religion um, be it uh, real religions or just fictional ones so I always enjoy uh, these things in books uh, so this book, um, it's advertised as a novel, um, but it feels more like a kind of record of historic events that like in our world never happened, but that could have happened because it never gets really personal. It's always written from a distance. So we're like, oh, he went there and then he did that and then he did that and then other people came and stuff happened. So we never get to really see um, the protagonist's feelings and I didn't mind that because I think that is what the book was going for anyways um, but um, yeah like I said it's not really a novel novel feeling that you get from that so um, yeah so if you know any more of those books where we have uh, what would have happened if something else happened uh, just uh, tell me in the comments because I would really like to check them out. I really enjoy um, these books and I wish there were more because I think you can get really creative. So one thing I did not get in this book, what I was kind of hoping for, was um, a more recent view of things. So we get a good chunk of what happens when he just conquers Europe and how things develop from there. And like I said, there's a fourth part, which follows, I think Cervantes is his name. Um, and he just travels through this conquered Europe. Um, but it doesn't feel that different. And I would have liked for this book to go a bit more extreme, um, but I didn't get that. So um i think it's more realistic than the version i would have hoped for um but still it's i think it could have gone a bit further and also i would have liked to see what um everyday life would have looked like in maybe like present time or 100 200 years uh, later from when the story took place uh, because i think those long-term changes would have been really fascinating to see so I hope he writes a sequel, <laughs> just, I don't know if he's planning to, I don't think so, um, but yeah, um, I would read the sequel to this book because I really, really enjoyed this alternate uh, European history. Um, okay, so um, this is the German version, there is an English version coming out in September, um, at least I think that was uh, what Amazon.com told me. Uh, so all you English speakers out there, if the book interests you, you can put it on your wish list and pick it up in September and have a fun time with alternate European history. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of short review. I just wanted to talk about this because it was um, kind of different from what I usually read. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share some love for this book. <laughs> and uh, yeah, okay, so um, I hope you like the flowers. I can bring more flowers if you want. So um, I guess that's it for today. So see you again next time.